before I start the video, I just want to say shout out to Super Silent Mikey because he was almost at 1k subscribers. So anyway, let's get to the video. Brosons and Dick Soms, we're going around to Glitch Text is Nickelodeon's best cartoon in years by Veilscape I'm 94. Because Glitch Text, I just said text, like you, you're texting someone on your phone. Text, text, Glitch Text. Uh, 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 guys, if I'm saying it wrong, my bad. It sounds like I'm saying text, you know, T E X T, well, I'm trying to say T E C G. H H C H whatever Jesus fucking Christ I keep saying it in the room but whatever glitch text whatever so anyway it finally aired on Carnico got the fucking Netflix it finally it's finally on Netflix even though it should have aired on the Nickelodeon channel but whatever whatever Nickelodeon needs to put some of their newest cartoons on Netflix since they have a deal now on Netflix that they're gonna be producing original cartoons and live action shows which I mostly wanna watch them live I mostly wanna watch the cartoon shows but whatever. So anyway yeah let's see what's this Veil Ski Bomb ninety what's this Veil Ski Bomb ninety four think about the new show. So yes don't forget to subscribe and 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 subscribe Modern day Nickelodeon Modern. is one of the worst networks for animation, and that's mm. thanks to too many reasons I can't cover right now. But despite how awful they've become, there's a I mean, I still like the Nick their shows, but still, I, I, will I will agree. I will agree. It is the worst. You to glitch text. It's a cartoon text. that was produced for Nick, but at some point they just decided to release it all on Netflix instead. Glitch text yeah. centers around Five and Miko, two gamers who are recruited to defeat video game glitches and monsters that enter the real world. And that is show about Video games when you hear that, but there's so much more like to the show. Let's start with the obvious thing you'd notice right off the bat about glitch text and animation. Even just watching for a few seconds, Shh. it's easy to tell this that this looks show awesome. isn't made by any means. Care was put into every single frame, and they perfectly this blend looks together awesome. to feel alive. Modern day Nicktoons animation styles generally follow a similar path. They don't go out of their way to be different from the rest. However, mm -hmm. glitch text takes that idea and completely reverses it as we see incredibly Maybe. fluid animation that doesn't often appear on the network. All of this is pure eye candy. By the way, when I watch I really like this, I notice that there's quite a few anime inspired moments. Is that a JoJo reference? Absolutely amazing. <gasps> JoJo! are portrayed on screen and how they're animated feels just like I'm watching a Japanese cartoon. That's great to see. Uh, anime? Since it's something Nick doesn't do a whole lot. They don't make the anime. Animation within glitch text should give you a pretty good idea of just how mm. hard the crew worked in making this become a reality, but mm -hmm. it isn't the only thing worth noting about the show. What about what the is Story, all about games and gaming concepts. Well, mm -hmm. what I personally love is mm -hmm. that it really does trust in the audience. There are terms like DPS and flank yes. used without any explanation, and that's because mm -hmm. the show assumes you have some basic knowledge about different types of video games. What you know, know fighting, movies, shooting, TV adventures, shows, 3D, gamers without acting like world, the pro world problem solving. The medium. Disney XD's gamers guide to pretty much everything is an example of what I mean. Oh my god. Yeah, but I don't watch that. I don't. I don't watch. That. Nothing it's feels like it appeals to what gamers are actually like in real life. Basically, yeah, it's kind of cringe, kind of cringe. Sorry to tell you guys this. I don't watch live action Disney either. Series co-creator Dan Milano describes my thoughts Kennedy. perfectly. Something I'm proud of that folks are starting to notice. Glitch text isn't trying to convince you it's cool. It's earnest, dorky, corny, and a love letter to things that brought our crew together. It mm -hmm. likes itself and hopes you like it too. But if not, it's just gonna keep on dancing. And while we're on the topic, well, of I haven't movie, watched the show yet, so I mean. Really I really like it. They're fast paced and action packed, constantly mm. delivering game references and adrenaline filled battles. Well, we don't see a whole lot of cartoons tackle this. This cartoon is for all gamers, like OK Chaos for Heroes. But I would definitely say Glitch Text pulled it off. When we're talking characters, Five and Miko are the big heroes. They have the most development considering they're the main duo, but main there's characters, also several of characters who show up a few times throughout the episodes that play an important role in the video game company. It's nice to keep having so many new faces, seeing different characters and how they relate to the story. 
story. Because I'll sometimes, some if you keep seeing the same characters, it is going to get annoying. Personalities. So, but the dynamic you know, between Five saying. and Miko drives everything mm. forward, which makes things a lot easier to watch. Each episode mm. of Glitch Text brings something new to the formula of the two hunting down a video game monster and defeating it, so things rarely get stale. Every yeah, moment, so, um, something you know, is happening. Different so, video game characters from different video game genres, like Imagine It's a Monster, like Pokemon. Never loved a game of any kind. Now there's a sad side to all this, and it's that Nickelodeon shut down Glitch Text production a year ago, meaning that not every episode could be produced like the crew had wanted. Oh there's no. There's still hope though, because if Glitch Text ends up doing extremely well on Netflix and Guys, please watch watching, Glitch Text, then please. Then episodes could be on the way. Please. So what that means is that any of you watching can help out. Share it with friends, do whatever you watch, can to get more like, people into watching comment, Glitch Text. I'd sh love to share, see share, share Glitch Text, text whatever. For please future. watch anyway, it. Anyway, if you watch this series, what are your thoughts on it? And if you didn't watch, are you gonna check it out soon? Let's yes, I'm gonna check comments. it out. I'm gonna check it out. Wait, is it on Netflix? But anyway, Hold that's up. all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs mm. up and comment below what you think. Thanks for watching, mm. and I'll see you guys next time. Mm. Yeah, guys, saying yes, this video is really good mm. Okay, no. Hold up, hold up. Is, is that is Glitch for Text on Netflix already? Hold up. Oh, uh, guys. Um, you know, I have my computer right here. Um, I'm using uh, uh, my sister's iPad to watch the videos now. So you know. And so just hold up, guys. Hold up. Go to Netflix. Shoots. I need to sign in. Guys, one second. Hold up, one second. Guys, you know what? I'll, I'll check later. I'll check later. So, yes, that's all we guys are Please don't ask me. Please see. Please Please comment if we saw Glitch Tech and if it's cool. Don't spoil it for me to say, you know, if, if it's a good show or not. But, yeah. So, yes, that's all we guys are Please don't ask me. 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 Please